Hey, what's up everybody? It's Don and today I am back with a new video in the Oculus Quest 2. That's right. So today we're going to be taking a look at an upcoming spatial puzzler escape room called Flow Weaver. Now this game, unfortunately, not going to be out until later in 2021. So today you're just getting a little taste of what's to come. But if you want to follow along with the developer's progress, I am going to leave lots of links in the description to their Discord, their mailing list. So definitely just jump on one of those and check these guys out as they move the game farther along. So for today, we're just going to be taking a quick look at it. I, I'm not going to go too deep in, don't want to spoil too much of this. Like I said, this is a, a kind of a multi-dimensional spatial puzzle game. I getting a little mist vibe almost. So I, you know, I love those and so I can't wait to jump back in and I can't wait to take you guys with me while I do this time. So let's go. Okay, I'm in space. Very cool. Um, press A or X to open my planar compass. There are oh. so many dimensions of magic in this multiverse, nice. all interconnected with the worlds of mortals. My schooling is almost over. I've learned to channel the magic of many of those dimensions into spells. Ugh, but I should practice for my final tests. Pick a destination, Asgard. grab the thread of reality, nice. and pull open the new dimension. Okay. So grab side trigger. I guess they're meaning the grip button. Uh, the middle of the orb to pull threads of reality to travel to a new dimension. All right, this is definitely going to be right up my alley. But man, this looks cool. I, I'm digging it. Okay. All right, let's go. Nice. Oh, uh, 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 I'm breaking time and space. What's happening? Whoa, whoa. Oh, I really did break time and space. What's going on? Uh, what? Where am I? Yeah, I was just about to say the what same happened? thing. Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Help! Please, I shouldn't be here! Yeah, no, we, we're not supposed to be locked up. Okay. Not good. My planar compass. It's empty. Whatever this place is, I've been completely cut off from most of the dimensions I know. From the magic I've mastered. <sighs> At least I'm still connected to my own dreamscape. Yeah, well, that's good, you know. I mean, you should always have dreams, and you should follow your dreams, because that's important and stuff. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so, I've been captured. Cool audio shift. While moving between dimensions, caught in that circle of binding of my feet. And whatever this world is, it's somehow completely disconnected from the dimensions of the magic I'm used to. Which means I can't simply pull open a new dimension to escape. And I can't access the spells I know either. I'm near powerless. Not, not powerless. You're not powerless. I still know how to move between dimensions. Right on. If I can find portal keys, if I can learn more about the dimensions that surround this world, access them, go back to first principles and figure out how to harness their magic. Then maybe escape the cell. Not that it's much of a cell. It looks more like a storage room. Well, you, you know, I mean, they, they probably didn't have much to work with, and, you know. Well, at least the dreamscape remains a fixed point in my planar compass. That proves at least some of the magics here function as expected. The dreamscape is a borderlands between mortal thought and immortal magic, a dimension of cognition. Every sapient mind touches a piece of it. Thanks, Professor Mylan. I guess your stuffy old lectures did come in handy after all. Re 
Being so topical and unprotected thoughts will gather above the dreamscape in my compass as I puzzle my way through this predicament. But I dare not physically travel to the dreamscape itself, and I best not let too much rise to the surface either. Deeper thoughts, subconscious, private, and secret, live within. And you never know who is watching or listening, young one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. So, let's see. Ooh, I can light stuff up with auroras. So, very cool. All right, uh, before we get into it, uh, you know, I got to say, I, I'm not hating on this, uh, but I will say one thing. Th this would perfectly map to my play space. So, developers, I, I implore you, you know, g give a, give a non-seated option. It, it, it would really be cool to get up and walk around in this space and, and kind of look uh, at all the different little things that you've hidden all around here. So just, just saying, this is not a review, by the way. This is a preview of a game. I, we're just checking it out. But but you you guys know I, I like to get up. I like to walk around the room. And, and you know, in the quest, it, it, it's, it's really one of those things that, that people are going to want to do. So just saying saying all right back to the game all right so very cool environment uh lots of stuff to look at here um obviously we can press uh this button right I here opening my uh, mind to the, the y or me. b button wow so um, many objects in this room hum with power yeah what, what, and i what? sense a couple things that no, that I could maybe harness as portal keys what something on that skeleton's hand and a glass trinket in the rafters if I could reach them somehow, I should be able to access other dimensions with them. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, well I'm, I'm, I'm all for, like, surfing some dimensions. So, let's see what we can do here. So, oh, very cool. If I press and hold it down, I get all these, like, swirly little lights. Dig it. Clearly, I'm not the only person who's been brought here. Hopefully, I can fare better than you did, friend. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling for you, bro. This would be a horrible way to die. So, all right, um, so it looks like a couple of things are within my reach, but I can't seem to grab that. Um, hmm, okay, looks so, like I'll need some so kind can... of four-digit combination to open that. Okay, so that's there probably something There are 10,000 possible later. combinations, yeah, so exactly. I'm going to need a clue or something. And the only other thing that I can reach from here is this chest. Oh, there's, hey, oh, hey, I found your head, man. Oh, there is some energy still held in this skull. Sweet. Um, you want your head back? Here, oh. Okay. Come. Find me in the Shadow Realm. Ooh, Shadow Realm. Oh, hey. Oh, thanks Thank for the you, finger. Friend. Hmm. The Shadow Realm sounds distinctly like the name of another dimension. Take that Perhaps a place of secrets or this world's land of the dead. If so, I can use this finger bone as a portal key. Nice. I just need to merge it into my planar compass. Okay. Uh, we could do that. Oh, there we go. Shadow realm. And then, then, then we can live in a material world. Uh -huh. For those of you in the 80s who might understand that reference. Okay, so... Let's see here... Um, I guess I can go to the Shadow Realm. Yes, ripping time and space again. Cool. Another flow weaver. A flow weaver. As I was, a prisoner of the necromancer and her peers. Okay. Well, flow weaver? Necromancer? <laughs> what are you talking about? This distant world has a unique relationship with the dimensions of magic. They call them flows here, from the way they move like the tides through their worlds. The magical tapestry is not stable. Those of us who travel between the dimensions with ease, we are heir to them, special. They name us Flow Weavers. The cell, the runes of binding, these are the work of an necromancer. That shadow I saw before I came here. I do not know her purpose. I'm <laughs> nice. sorry to say that I learned little more before I died here. 
this dimension is dangerous. A dragon of bone and shadow hunts these planes. Yeah, I thought I saw it flying around back there. It it's looking pretty cool. Even the flow itself oh, there can it is. Your soul from you. I can help you further, but please, please, I am bound to this place still. Cursed. But there is an amulet in the cell. A gift from my master. Oh, oh yeah, bro, I can't reach it. It's, it's across the room. I saw that, but it's out of reach. Oh, yeah, see? There's still time. I can teach you the magic of this flow. Oh, nice. To harness the shadow and extend your reach. First, you must release the darkness from the crate beside you. Release the kraken? What? Oh. How can I release it? Open the crate. The flows of this world are uniquely connected, layered over the material world. Do something there, and it will change things here. Fascinating. And thus, the, the like I was saying, spatial p puzzles. So we're going to have to solve puzzles that affect both dimensions, which is very cool. Uh, you know, I mean, it, it's definitely one of those things that, that if you like puzzle games, this is going to take it to a different level. So, all right, um, let's see. I guess I just need to go back to... Um, how do I do I go back? How do I go back? Oh, okay. Whoa, it's, it's night time. Huh. Time must pass a little differently in the uh, flows of this world than in the world itself. Yeah, time flows when you're having fun, bro. Okay, so they said open the chest. Hmm, maybe I can get that chest propped open somehow. Um, yeah, what can I prop it open with? Um, like that I can actually reach okay so what am I supposed to do The tower in the shadow realm is very similar to the layout of my cell. <laughs> Not that it's much of a cell. The spirit said the flows of this world are connected. It's like that tower is a dark, decayed reflection of where I am in the material world. Is my cell in the tower as well? The architecture is ornate, not like any prison I know. I can see the ocean all around, and the room's full of netting and ropes. A lighthouse, maybe? Why am I being kept here? That's a good question. So, okay. So, it's going to have something to do with shifting back and forth. So, let's go back to this round. And, yep. I should be able to take objects from here with me back to the material Perfect. world if I need to. That's what I was hoping for. There we go. Did, did that really do something? Yeah, it, prop, oh, it propped it up. Almost that, like a shiver that's something. through the fabric of reality. It's mind-blowing. So, all right, and let's see now. Do we go back and talk to dude? Um, I propped it. No? Not supposed to talk to you? Okay. So, oh, 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 yep, maybe I am supposed to talk to you. Haha, -ha, cool. Okay, so. Good, good. This darkness is part of the curse binding me. The necromancers attempt to wrest information from me, even in death. But you can learn from it as I have. Now, pull the threads of magic into yourself. Harness the power of the shadow. Bend it to your will. Sweet. I will definitely do that. But I'm... Oh, it went away. I was really digging that particle effect. It was... Oh, nice. 
I got my shadow hand. Put the magic into my body. There we go. Please bring my amulet that I may rest. This place is agony. Okay, man. I'm I'm totally gonna try to do that for you. Um, so, all right, here we go. Pull the shadow hand spell into yourself to equip it. There we go. And use the front trigger to prime. Ah, okay. Now I can... <sighs> there is a chill here. A chill that goes deeper than skin and bone. Well, let's go back here. here. It gets warmer. Alright, so now... I should be able to pull that in. And yes, I feel it lock on. <laughs> oh, it's just like another spell I want to But, well, darker. Sweet. Now, don't get this hot. It might burn into your hand because it looks like I'm like going to find an arc with it. So, all right. Very cool. Um, and... No, no. Oh. I figured I would put. All right, so. Ah, my amulet. Yep, got it, bro. There you go. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. Thank you. I may rest now. Beware the dragon. I did not think my wounds fatal, old bastard. Wait, please! Is there anything else you can tell me? I learned a little more. But I did make contact with the fairies. Concocted a special rule. Make them this offering and they may help you. What offering? Devised in the dark of the cell. Fond of drink. Damn. Yep. Rest now, friend. Oh, you gooey. Oh, I'm gonna need something to hold this in. Yeah, we gotta have something to hold that in. That's what I was thinking, too. So, all right. Um, can we, no, we can't put it in that. So let's go back to the here. Oh, and dude's bones are all, like messed up there so all right what can we hold stuff in but maybe a bottle yes uh, my captors have given me an evening bottle of wine it seems yep. No, maybe I gotta take the cork out. Oh well. Oh no, now is not the time to get drunk. Oh, I'm not trying to get drunk, bro. I'm I'm trying to. You, you said I need something to hold that in. I figured a bottle would be. Oh well. You know. Oh no, now is not the time to get drunk. I'm not trying. You know, I mean, I'm kind of on the job here. You know, that would be bad. Bad wrong. Okay. So that is I that. have to return to the material world before I can flow elsewhere. Okay, so what else could I hold something with? What else locks on? Those candles have some energy to them. If I only had a flame. Aha! A recipe in the dark of the cell. Nice. Thanks once again, friend. A nurple flower. Whatever a nurple flower is. I'm going to have to figure that one out. Hmm, it's missing a light. Looks like something can go inside. I'll just leave you there then. This item is a portal key. I should put this into my planar compass. Okay, there we go. 
And, okay, that's the Phalans. So, you know, though, I guys, I, I don't want to go too far into this. I mean, we're, we're now starting to get into some of the, to, to some of the puzzles, and, and I don't want to spoil that for anyone who may be getting this game down the road when it releases in 2021. So, I think we are going to go ahead and cap the gameplay portion here. All right, so there you have a little bit of Flow Weaver, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching that as much as I did playing it. Definitely going to be keeping my eye on this one. Now, if you want to keep up with what's going on with the game, I am going to leave lots of links once again down in the description. So follow those links, head over to flowweaver.com, and check out what's going on with this game because you're not going to want to miss it when it releases in 2021. But for me, that's going to do it tonight, guys. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you did, you know that means the world to me. And if this was your first time coming by the channel, thank you so much for coming by to check out what I do here at VR Gamer Dude. And if you liked what you saw tonight, head over to my main page. Take a look through my videos. I've been doing this for like five, six years. I got stuff all the way back to the beginning man like the dk2 days and stuff like that and if you liked what you saw there and you don't mind smash subscribe and ring the bell that way you get notified the next time i do something cool in virtual reality and for those of you who already did all that man i love you guys thank you so much we are growing this channel again and i owe that all to each and every one of you so i unfortunately not going to hit that ten thousand mark uh, by the end of the year like i was hoping to but we are going to hit it really soon in 2021 maybe around the same time flow weaver comes out so i'll definitely cover it again when it releases, you bet your bottom dollar. But for me, that does it. I'm out. I'll see you in the next one.